Hey, New Hope, Pastor Zach here. We are getting ready around here for Missions Weekend starting this weekend with our banquet on Friday night, and it is gonna be a great time. I was looking back at previous years and saw that last year we gave almost a million dollars to mission and we're number 14 in the country for world missions giving. That's something to celebrate, something to be excited about. It reminds me of a story of the world's largest compass. It is in Edwards Air Force Base in California, and this compass is almost a mile wide. Now, this compass is strategically placed in a spot where they are training people on how to fly, and it is there in case their compasses or things on the dash go bad. So from a long ways out, they're able to see this compass and know which way they are going. How ridiculous would it have been if they built the world's largest compass just to say, we have the world's largest compass, but instead, they built the world's largest compass to help the most people. We don't give to missions. We don't give a lot of money to say that we are number 14 in the country or we gave this much money to missions just to celebrate that. We give the most so that we can help the most. I'm in our amazing auditorium here and it is one of the coolest youth rooms that I have ever seen. Now, how ridiculous would it be is if we built this room just to say we have one of the coolest youth rooms. No, we built a cool youth room so that we can reach the most students. As we prepare for this week, as you pray, God, what do you want me to do? God, what do you want me to give? I I challenge you, listen to what God's speaking to you because I believe that we have the potential to help a lot of people around the world. But there's a key word there called potential. Reminds me of a story in 2 Kings of Joash and Elisha. Joash, he goes to Elisha and he needs help because they are getting ready to go to war with the Arameans. And he says, what do I need to do to defeat them? Elisha tells him, strike the ground with the arrows and then shoot the arrow and you'll have victory over them. It says that he strikes the ground three times and Elisha gets mad at him. He gets mad because he says, you should have struck the ground five or six times. Now you will not completely destroy them. So I wanna challenge you, don't fall short of your potential this week. Don't fall short of what God's calling you to do, whether that's to missions, whether that's to whatever God's speaking to you. Follow through on what God tells you to do and you'll see a victory come from that. Because let me tell you something, the pain in stopping short is far more than the pain of falling short. You always wonder, what could I have done more? Could I have given more? Could I have helped more? But if you just fall short, if you have a big goal, if you have something big that you feel like God's calling you to do and you don't fully reach it, at least you gave it your all. At least you did what you felt like God was calling you to do. So I hope that challenges you and encourages you this week. And we'll see you at the missions weekend this weekend.